welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be another review of the Gingerbread Too Faced Fake Face Mask. So this is going to be interesting. I want to know, is the fake one going to be any good? We are eventually going to be buying the original and we are going to do a side by side of them. But for now, we're going to play with the fake one. I don't have any problem with doing these reviews on the fake palettes. Makeup is makeup to me. Yes, I do know that they put different ingredients and stuff in. Does not bother me. You play with what you can afford. Don't go buying the expensive stuff if it's going to make you broke. What is the point, guys? That's my motto. So, let's get into this. So this is a packaging. On the back of it, it does show you the shades in there. Pretty poor picture of what colours you're going to get in there in my opinion. I think it's a really poor colour code what we're going to get. But what we're going to get is actually in here. Also I'm just going to point out there's no really need to point this out but the letters on here are like, like I can't explain it, like sticking out kind of thing. Anyhow let's just get on the tin. So it is a metal tin. All of this is the same. It is like popping out of the tin. I love it. So it's a Too Faced Gingerbread Spice eyeshadow palette. Uh, yeah, that's basically that. That is what the back looks like. Uh, yeah, it says indulge your craving for chocolate with these 16 antioxidant, I think that's how you say it, rich cocoa powder infused Shimmer shades with natural browns, delicate pinks, and luscious plums. Uh, yeah, so let's just, it says more, but let's just get into this. It also has 18 eyeshadows in this. It's from the USA. And once you open this bad girl, it has 12 months on it. So after 12 months, we have to get rid. That probably won't happen, if you want a bit of honesty. Okay, so inside, I'm going to blind you for a minute, but this is going to be worth it because look at this mirror. It is so freaking adorable. It has a little gingerbread man right there. How stinking cute is that? Oh, anyway, we're going to cover this and I'm going to show you the shades. There we go. So there are the shades in this palette. Beautiful colours there. Uh, so... I'm going to do swatches as well, so let's get the swatches done. Or should we do the swatches at the end of the video? No, we'll do the swatches now. So the first one is going to be this one called Powdered Sugar. Oh, they feel very soft and smooth. I like that. But it also seems a little chalky, actually. So there's that one try and swatch this somewhere on my hand maybe you won't be able to see it because it's more like a nude colour it's right there the next one is spiked eggnog which is there this one this one's more like a shimmery colour like a very light gold that's that one the next one is gumdrop which is this pink one right here Oh, I like this one. Very pigmented, this next one. Very nice. The next one is gingerbread. This one. Let's try and get a bit more of that one. Just that one. So the next one is warm and toasty. Again, this one is a sparkly one. It's more like a deeper gold. The next one is Oburn. Oh, I like this one. It's, this one's like a brown, but it has like a shift of pink. A very unique colour. Really like that. The next one is Frostbite Me. I 
I'll do that shade again because I've kind of not mixed up. I'm just going to do it on the palm of my hand now. So that's there. The next shade is Lucky at My Cookie. That one right there. This next one is actually a little chalky as well. So that's two up to now that are chalky. Which is that one right there. You can hardly see it really. The next one is Spice is Nice. Which is coming off as a really nice hot orange. Do you know what I didn't do? I didn't grab us any tissues. So anyway, there's that one. The next one is O oh Snap, which is this one right here. So that's that one. The next one is Bake It Till You Make It. I like the name of that one. Oh, I love that shade. That's beautiful. That one right there. The next one is Spice of Life. We are going to be doing a makeup look with this palette next once we've done these eyeshadows. And I love the shade of that one. Very nice. The next one is Sugar Daddy. I'll try and find a finger. Again, this one is a little chalky. I don't really like matte shades because I feel like they're very, very chalky in this palette. So there's that one. We're running out of space. <laughs> uh, the next one is Figgy Pudding. This one. Nice dark brown. And there's that. Next one is... Reindeer Paws, dark brown again, more like a chocolatey brown, not a bad shade. Hmm. Chalky again, that's three chalky ones, that's that one there, the chocolate brown. The next one is Gingerbread Latte. Which is this one. Uh, let's try it with this. Oh, I like this shade. This one we'll probably use in the makeup look. Which is, if I can show you that one there. Because I'm wearing that sort of colour today, guys, with my top. Uh, the next one is Spiced Rum. And this is the last one in the palette. So let's just give you a swatch of this one. This one is a shimmer. So that one is right there. I love that. Now, I need to go wash my hands. I am completely covered, but there's those, there's those. That one that I absolutely love. And I'm gonna be back in a sec, guys. So we got rid of the swatches. Now we are going to have a look at what we're going to do here. So as you saw before, they are the beautiful colours. Does it smell like chocolate? You get a very slight hint of chocolate. Hmm, a very slight hint. It's not as strong as... I don't know where I've put it. Here it is. Now this is a real Too Faced palette. And this one is, smells absolutely gorgeous. <sighs> to me, it smells like Kinder Eggs. Uh, not Kinder Eggs. Cabbage Cream Eggs. If you can hear anything, it is my mum. If you can hear anything at all, it is my mum. Welcome to my channel. Uh, so, yeah, this one doesn't really smell like chocolate. Like You get a very slight smell. That's it. Anyway, let's prime the eyes. So I'm going to pull my mirror. Okay, so I'm going to use the Maxim More Eyeshadow Primer. That's what I'm going to use today. 
I'm just gonna go for it. I like to apply it by the stick and just rub it in with my fingers. Next one. Let me know in the comments if you have tried this palette. Whether if it's the original or fake, I love to know everything because I'm a nosy cow. And there we go, right, we have that on now. So, I'm going to be taking some random brushes here. There's no specific brushes that I'm going to choose. I'm just going to randomly choose them. So, I'm going to go with, let's see. I don't want one that's really, really thick. I'll try this one. So this one actually came in a set off eBay. So I'm just going to try this. So anyway, I'm going to take the gingerbread, which is a matte. So that's the gingerbread right there that I'm going to take. And we'll give that a whirl all over the eyelid. So I'm patting it, I'm also very lightly moving it around my eye. Look at that, I put that on and there's no fallout whatsoever. Not one bit of fallout whatsoever on, my, on the bottom of my eye, I'm really impressed with that actually. Because I've had some genuine makeup and it's, some of them do have a lot of fallout and it's an absolute mess, mayhem that you have to deal with. So I'm going to do the same on the other eye and see what we get with that one. I'll keep patting it in there. Moving it around a little. <sighs> I'm just going to do a little bit more on this other eye because I feel like the other one's a bit darker than that one but as I say it could be the light, you know. Okay, so now that bit is done, what I am going to do is take a darker orange shade, which will be this Spice and Nice, this one right here. I'm going to take that and just put it on the outer corner of my eye just a little bit. I don't want it overpowering. It's not even going to go on. That side did do a little bit of a fallout, but that's probably my fault. Okay, yeah, it's not really showing up, so I'm going to have to do the same on the other side because I'm like that. Hmm. Yeah, it didn't show up one bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put more eye primer on. This is how we're winging it. This is how we're swinging it. Okay, so I'm just going to put a very little bit on there. Because I don't want too much. Same on the other eye. Just... 
Okay, so now we're going to try and go in with a bit of a darker orange. Might be better if I use a smaller brush maybe. So I'm going to go in with this one. And um, we're going to take that spice is nice again. Uh, let's see what happens now. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's better. That's what I wanted. Just to make it a little bit darker so it looks like it's blended a bit better. And then, since I've got the smaller brush, I'm going to cover both sides of my brush, one tap, and I'm going to work it into the crease. Not all the way, just about here. Now there has been a little bit of a fallout when I'm doing this crease bit, so I'm just going to wipe it away. Okay, I'm going to do the exact same on the other eye. It might look a little bit of a mess right now, but it's going to be dealt with. You're going to see. Okay, now I'm going to do the crease. I'm just going to put a bit more on the lid. I'm not too bothered about making a mess on the under eye because it's all going to be dealt with so it's nothing to worry about. Okay, it's looking a little wild at the minute but trust me, we're going to be okay. Just wiping away any fallout. And we are now going to take a blending brush, so I'm going to go with probably this one, just take, oh. it's looking very orange but I don't mind, we're going to do a little bit of blending, oh no we're not, yeah we are, I'm going to blend this out a little bit, I'm not a mad person with the blending, we're going to do what we can. Let's see if we can get... Okay, so what I'm going to do is take the shade Powdered Sugar and we're going to go on the top lid with that with this brush which is by Real Techniques and it's actually a crease brush but I'm just going to use this for what I just said so I'm just going to As I'm applying it, I'm going to make sure that I actually blend it in with the crease colour as well.
I'm also going to add a little bit more spice is nice just to give it that pop back again Full out. I uh, think that's going to do just for that. We're only doing this just to try out the palette. What was that undercolour that I used? I think I'm going to top up with the gingerbread. So yeah, I'm going to top up the colour of the gingerbread. And I'm going to use this brush. This is by Tarte. Um, the Graveyard Girl palette, so I'm just going to top up that eyeshadow. It's a very, very soft colour, this one. I like it. Okay, so that is that. Now I need some mascara. I'm going to use the eyeliner first, then we'll do mascara. But the eyeliner that I'm going to use is by Rimmel London in Jet Black. Okay, so that's that. I know I haven't done my eyebrows, but we're going to move on to mascara next. The mascara that I'm using is by Sleek. Uh, Lethal Length in shade 422 by Sleek. So I'm just going to do a little bit of this. I don't want to overpower the mascara, not today. So that's that. I haven't even put any blusher on or anything because it's not about that today guys, it is about this eyeshadow and that's all I really wanted to do. I have got a little bit of foundation on because I've just done a review for the W7 Genius uh, Feather Light Foundation. But anyway, getting back onto this palette. So I like this palette. There was three colours in there that was very, very chalky but I reckon it would work with um, a very good eye primer. As I say, they don't have that strong smell of chocolate, which I do prefer to not have that strong smell of chocolate, even though I do adore and love my original chocolate palette. Um, I love all palettes by Too Faced. I am a palette junkie, as we probably already know. But yeah, I really, really like this. Would I buy this again as a dupe? Absolutely. 
Would I give it to someone as a present? Absolutely. I think it's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. It's great. The colours actually apply really, really well. Um, I already know where I went wrong when applying my eyeshadow just then. I shouldn't have covered it all with that base eyeshadow. That's what I shouldn't have done. My first colour was um, gingerbread. I shouldn't have put that all over my eye. I should have just done half of it and left the other half to do my other shade. So that's my own fault where I went wrong. That does not default the palette, the eyeshadows. The eyeshadows work absolutely great. I love it. You can get this off eBay. All you need to do is put in makeup palettes and it'll just come up with all the rest of them um you can actually get the original one on ebay as well which i will be purchasing soon after june it will be here and then we can do a side by side comparison to figure out which is the best and it's not really about what is the best um sometimes you find that Cheaper makeup is better than the expensive. I figured that out over the years. I have bought, I've bought a hell of a lot of makeup, as you guys know, as as you, as you guys know over the years. I can't even get my words out now. Um, so yeah, I have had a good dibble in the expensive makeup and the knockoffs and cheap. And some of the cheap is better than the expensive. I have to say it is. This is not bad. As I say, I would purchase it again. I would get it again. I didn't actually purchase this. My mum got me this one for Christmas. But of course, my mum always asks me what makeup do I want. I choose it and my dad orders it. So there we go. That is that. Uh, we do have another palette coming up. The next palette review that we have got coming is the Too Faced Life's a Festival. This is again a dupe. But again, I'm definitely buying the original for this because... I'll just give you a quick glimpse of the eyeshadows, guys. Boom. Absolutely beautiful. So I really do want the expensive one as well, the original. And then the side-by-side -side is going to be done with that as well. So thank you so much for watching, guys. This is the next makeup palette review that we will have coming next week. Uh, yeah, I've got loads of reviews still to get through. And I've now got to go wash my makeup brushes. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Joining us in this fun review. If you stuck it to the end, then <laughs> you're a champion. Thank you. Give us a like. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there now, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell button for notifications. If you're not yet part of the Sparker family, then please do subscribe and sprinkle some black glitter. Why not? It is all free to join in with the fun, to spread the love. Um, yeah, and we also have giveaways coming in summer. So thank you for watching, guys. Bye.